Steve back in PixInsight with my images loaded. I've got the 50% stack here on the left and the 75% stack on the right. And the first thing I do is to increase the precision of these uh, these TIFF files. Something I've learned um, over the years um, with the heavy processing you do on these images, it helps to have the highest or well a higher precision level. So we convert these over to 32-bit floating point images. Um, now the first uh, tool I'm going to show you is what's called restoration filter. And to my understanding, this is a kind of deconvolution. Um, there's quite a few settings here that uh, essentially I've learned over the last year uh, what works well for my setup. Um, it really depends on the quality of your image and the pixel scale that you're imaging at, uh, how you're going to set these, which essentially is a matter of experimentation. Um, so I've got this uh, already set, it's preset. I know this is going to give me a good image. Um, one thing I will play with is uh, this noise estimation. If the data is really good, I can increase this or maybe it's decrease it. Um, and I'll just go ahead and apply this. Um, and that gives me a pretty nice looking image. But if I zoom in here, I can see some pixelation starting up, which is really not what I want. Um, so let's back off. We'll undo that. I want to reduce this to three and reapply it and it looks much better we'll zoom back out um, um, I'm using a wiener filter um, got another choice constrained least squares um, the wiener filtering usually works uh, best for the planetary imaging um, and I'm working on all three channels since I am working on color image. If I get any ring and ringing artifacts, I can uh, I can adjust these to eliminate them, whether it's bright rings or dark rings. Uh, I usually don't have that problem with Jupiter unless I'm really aggressive. So I typically don't use that. And, and also dynamic range extension, I don't typically use that on Jupiter. Uh, I will use that uh, for lunar imaging and also for Mars. So it's very fast um, and it's it's easy to experiment. I can increase this a little bit. We'll apply it to the other image. Um, again, now I zoom in. I increase the standard deviation, and this looks fairly smooth. But this is a bigger stack, um, so that's the advantage of uh, stacking more frames.